So with the possibility of X-Force being fully canceled, Rob Liefeld, one of the main people involved with making Deadpool, has gone on record saying, missed opportunity, this really could have been the Avengers equivalent. Well, let's talk about X-Force and why this might have happened. So you have to understand that Fox found itself in an interesting position. Look at the numbers for last year. They were awful. And they were projected to get worse in 2019 had they not been up for sale. It just would have been a constant downward spiral and they would have found themselves in a Sony position or worse. So the really survival depended on selling and Disney was there. So X-Force is an interesting thing because it was heavily teased and more or less Deadpool 2 was Iron Man 2 trying to set up the Avengers. Deadpool 2 was trying to set up X-Force, which is why I had many problems with that movie despite still enjoying it. I had many problems with it. At the same time, X-Force probably would have been a billion dollar. You know, I, I don't think there's any reason to believe it wouldn't have been. Hell, if they could have gotten Wolverine in there, guaranteed, I think, billion dollars. But Wolverine, realistically, wasn't going to be in there, especially Hugh Jackman. And they had to take their time. With this acquisition looming and everything more or less being canceled, what would have been the point? And Disney probably sees an opportunity, as well as Fox, to have the X-Force done in a different way within the confines of the MCU. Because once again, it is a billion dollar franchise. It's the X-Men version of a more hardcore Avengers style team up, right? So you could see how maybe they'll take a couple X-Men in from the MCU. They'll take Deadpool and Wolverine when he's on his own trilogy and unite them in an X-Force movie. That makes a whole lot of sense. So they probably didn't just want to get out there and the script probably wasn't coming along right and other projects with Drew Goddard and various other people involved. So it just kind of fell off to the side. Could you blame Disney for this? Possibly. But Fox also understands that with having such bad financials in 2018, they can't commit to spending more money on these projects that they honestly don't know if they're going to get finished or how long they might take. It's just not something they wanted to do. Especially dump a bunch of debt into Disney's lap, being like, well, we started these, sorry, uh, you're gonna go through with them. That would have been bad for everybody. So I understand why it happened, and it's unfortunate, but X-Force will continue.